Hi friends, my name is Renuka and today we will make one card. So by using embossing technique and for this card I choose one of the card from this box. And I use Cuttlebug's embossing folder, the border one and I use this one. So I went ahead and embossed the card from just on one side. And now I will add some pattern papers to decorate the front of the card. I use some intro pre, uh, introspect from Prima. It's a six by six paper pad pattern. And another I will use maybe the adhesive simplicities border. So this one and the black one. So I cut the cardstock in such a way that it will leave some border on both the side and same way it didn't interrupt the interrupt the embossing here. And now I'm try I'm I'm kind of playing with the layout that how I want. And basically I want this layout like this and then there is one banner like doing this something like that I want to add uh, my sentiments on this by using a white paper pad white paper pack and you can make for this card the horizontal and vertical both the ways but I will decide that afterwards. So let's adhere this to the card stock. So Now I want the strip on this side like this, little bit off centered and as it's having that is the back I just need to peel out and put where I want to. Okay. <coughs> this is also the adhesive back but I don't want the <clears throat> adhesive one maybe I'll just give little bit of foam dots here so I think I'll use different paper for this <clears throat> let's see what yeah, I, use, I can use this paper also. When you are buying a pattern paper, so they coordinate with each other such a way that you don't need to think so much about them. You just grab a pad and just take any papers from the pad and they'll match nicely. So if I use this paper, so I can put a banner here and I think I like that. So I'll just make some marks, pencil marks here, how wide I want. Uh, 
I want little bit of border from this side and this side too. So what I I make like this much. Um, just give a pencil mark. I'll cut that. Okay. So this is kind of. And then I'll put my banner here. Something like that. So after this I'll speed up the process because I'm just trial and erroring the layers and then I then I'll put some stamp on it so let's see <clears throat>
Okay, now for fixing this, I will just add one strip here and I think I'll add a little bit here also. So I just want to take measurements. I think that would be enough. So I'll put this and a strip here. want to stick this one first so it will act like a border so by covering the mistakes <laughs> you make your card more pretty and I'll just put this here We'll trim off the excess. And I'll put some foam dots to pop this panel. And I'll put some here because it is the extended part. And I don't want to mess with that thing. So and I think one will be here. So <clears throat> It's time to assemble our cart. So for Christmas, it's not that you have to always play with figures like Santa or Jingle Bells or something else. You can just by making simple layers. You can make this cart and now I'm just setting where I want to place this. Okay. So this is today's card. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, please ask me. You can follow me on Pinterest and Facebook. And uh, I enjoy. Have a crafty life. Bye bye.